Hey, um, I guess this is just going to be treated as like a video diary. I've just been having kind of a down day and wanted to kind of get my feelings down because didn't feel like getting writer's cramp trying to write it down and didn't really want to talk to anybody about my problems either. Um, I don't know why that is. I think because I feel like nobody cares. That's the long and short of it. Or I don't want to burden anybody with my own problems, you know? But anyway, I guess I'll bother you guys with it, but you're strangers, so it's not your problem. Anyway, I just was thinking about a lot of things, kind of having circular thoughts about um, not finding a mate, being stuck in this pretty crummy apartment for a long, long time, um, and kind of being stuck at this job I have. I mean, I'm doing really well at it, like very, like very much exceeding, but it's just a dead end job. Like I could move up, but I don't want to move up. You know what I'm saying? It's one of those corporate bullshit jobs where everybody is brainwashed and um, I just don't want to be a supervisor there. That sounds bad. Um, that sounds like the opposite of fun to me. Um, but th at the same time, I can't think of anything else that I could do right now as a different vocation um, that I would enjoy, that is. I mean, I'm sure I could desperately find something else, but there's no point in that. Um, I just got a raise, I'm comfortable there, so I'm staying. So it's kind of all about that right now, about having a certain level of complacency and comfort in the position I am in right now, even though it's not what I really, really want at all. But I don't want to move because I'm afraid that everything will just fall to pieces, you know, because my life was pretty pretty bad before it got here believe it or not it used to be extraordinarily bad like I had really bad addiction issues I was a heavy drinker um, I couldn't hold a job I didn't have a car um, I was pissing people off left and right um, doing really crappy things to people and now I finally am in a safe space in my life and I don't want to give that up, but at the same time, I'm sacrificing my own happiness by not taking risks, by not looking for other opportunities, by not putting myself out there in the dating world at all. Not at all. Six years, guys. I have not, I think I've perused like a couple dating sites, but I did not like what I saw, or um, I didn't have the confidence to approach the ones that I did want to talk to. Um, and also they'd have things in their bio like, must be six feet or taller or uh, fuck off or something classy like that. So anyway, um, yeah, that's, that's absolutely going nowhere. Um, also I have kind of some damage from my past. Uh, my last real relationship I was in was with uh, a married woman. Um, so that ran off the rails after 10 months. Surprised it wasn't sooner than that, but uh, she was the worst, basically. Um, I won't discuss that any further. And um, more recently, I decided to get involved with um, someone who was an old classmate in high school who, uh, knew me when I was a female and she was like a pretty popular girl in high school um, definitely seemed untouchable to me I mean obviously I couldn't get a girlfriend in high school yeah right dude plus it was like 2000 1999 you're joking like gay was still a dirty word back then so and that's what I was is gay back then because I didn't know what the hell was going on with me but anyway um, she and I were kind of getting intimate, so to speak, um, through text messages, Instagram, kind of talking, catching up, and uh, we started to get extremely close, like, uh, to the point where we both got scared. So, um, I'll skip out on the details. It got kind of 
very lovey-dovey, I'll just say that. And um, she is extraordinarily Catholic, and she definitely is guilty and um, has that Catholic guilt complex. She also has four children, so that obviously, I, as, as in La La Land as I am, uh, I mean, I'm such a romantic, as, as Looney Tunes La La as I can be, I still knew that that was going nowhere and I could not force it and she would not leave her husband and children. <laughs> I mean, obviously the children don't need to go, but I, can I be honest? I don't really want four children. Anyway, um, that's bad, I know, but they're, and they're good, they're good kids too. It's just, I'm not, I'm not a kids guy. I get along with kids. I, I like them okay, but it's like, I, I don't, I don't want kids. Anyway, that's not going to happen anyway. So the kids can have a great life with her and their dad. That, there you go. So I spared everybody from my bullshit. Anyway, so everything has been at a standstill now. I have not been meeting anyone. I haven't even been hanging out with friends. I don't know what's going on with me. I don't know if this shitty pandemic has had anything to do with that. I'm sure it has. It's made everyone afraid to do anything or breathe, literally. So that's probably played a part whether we like it or not. Um, but I'm just like at a standstill. I just stay in my crummy apartment all the time. I hear the pounding of my teenage neighbor constantly upstairs. Uh, always stomping. I don't know why someone could not just walk like a regular person. Um, once he took a shower without the curtain for some ungodly reason, the water that came out of the shower mixed with the caked urine that was on his bathroom floor and then it streamed on down um, a register in my bathroom and trickled onto the toilet when I was on the toilet when I was on the toilet and then the piss water dripped down my back onto my shirt just adding insult to injury so anyway that's my fucking life man like it's not so hot uh anyway I'm just wondering what what chess move I can do right now to get out of out of this rut um I'm not necessarily looking for any advice um all the kind words are always welcome I don't um expect anybody to feel like they have to intervene or do anything at all you guys just just people who are kind enough to listen that is enough um but anyway I guess uh, I'll keep it short I'll I'll try to make it a habit to do this video diary because I used to be such a good writer and I just I, I'm not anymore I just don't do it at all but I don't that's part of my whole stagnation thing no motivation so anyway uh thank you for listening to those that did especially through this whole eight minute video bye